Welcome back, 551 Right Now. Finding that perfect Valentine's Day gift for your special someone can be a little bit difficult, mm -hmm. and men can be especially hard to buy for. This morning we have blogger Susan Cole, also known as the gift gal of <laughs> North Carolina, to help us with some gift ideas. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Where, Where do we, we start? Yeah. Well, we start talking about men. Men are so hard to give gifts for, especially Valentine's Day. You think they know everything, they buy whatever they want, so we need to be creative and come up with things okay. that they don't think about. Uh, they don't want flowers and candy, so let's right talk fresh, healthy. This is a uh, fresh fruit bouquet from Edible Arrangements. Mm -hmm. Strawberries, grapes, pineapples, great for the man who made that New Year's resolution uh, to stay healthy. So that's not going to harm him. We also yeah, have. Fruit. You need that. Yes. Oh, what? I like that. Okay. Yes, we also have. These are a bit decadent, but still healthy. These are gorgeous. Um, chocolate dipped strawberries and all kinds of uh, uh, toppings. And what better to go with fruit than a lovely bottle of wine? Um, this, for example, is from uh, Bag Apple Lassie Vineyards. Mm -hmm. And this is great with the chocolate covered strawberries. Now that's a good gift for women or for men. It is, that's but it's kind thinking. of fun. Yeah. But if you really want to score some points, you get the forget-me-not wine, a dried, light white wine, and this especially goes good with fruit. With the fruit, okay. all right. Yeah. So then we have kind of some fun things. For I'm men. really interested in this right here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I went down. That's to, cool. I went down to the Regeneration Station on Glendale right. Avenue and just found things for the man cave. So right. This is a vintage Budweiser lamp. This would be perfect in a man cave. And then you have, of course, you know. Man cave, nothing. I'm thinking in the living room. Mm, <laughs> I don't know about the living All right, room. every man needs a beer stein. This is ex especially hardy. That's it's, cool. It's really heavy glass, and it's got your hardware on top. What does that cost? This cost about uh, $20. Okay. But it's vintage, so that's cool. Okay, we're talking 1920s hammer wrench combo. This weighs like 40 pounds, so. <laughs> and you can you use know, it for it, weight. It, it, it's a conversation starter. Well, also, could hit you with it. All right, so. do you hang up your jackets? I do. Okay, well, good, because uh, my fiance does not. Mm. This is a coat hanger made out of hardware. That's cute. Oh, yay. <laughs> I like that. This no, I like common. it too. I think yes. that's kind of cool. It is cool. Country uh, home, that all right. perfect. And, and finally, yeah. you can never have enough Elvis. Oh, so you need yeah. an Elvis. These are all <laughs> items at the Regeneration Station, and uh, it's it's like the Disneyland of used furniture and tchotchkes and, and things. A lot of great things here. Right. We'll see you again coming up in the next hour. Yes, yeah. I have some romantic ideas. Okay. okay. We're going to get romantic next time. We'll be right back. Stay with us. 6.52 right now on your Monday morning. Valentine's Day is this Friday, so if you want something other than candy and maybe flowers, you still have plenty of time. Susan Cole, a blogger for Gift Gal of North Carolina, joins us. Good morning to you. Hello, how are you? Good to have you back. Yes. Good, good. We're starting with something romantic this time. Let's talk romance. Okay. Um, you know, you have the flowers and the candy, you have the wine, we'll talk about that. But a lifelong treasure might be a portrait of yourself or your family. You know, in the 1970s, glamour shots were really popular and boudoir shots. But in Asheville, we have Deborah Lynn uh, portraits and she just does very vintage, classic, romantic um, portraits and um, Z Clay on canvas and um, it's just something extra special, something that your loved one might keep for a long time. Okay, especially the family too would be fantastic oh. to have a nice family photo yeah. portrait. And yeah, it's just something special. Okay. But if you want to fall back to wine and of course bouquets, I'd recommend going with a fruit bouquet from Edible Arrangements. There's a store in Asheville and also in Spartanburg right. just opened. You have your chocolate covered fruit. Okay. Um, you have some um, Merlot. They say this is the uh, sexy wine for Valentine's Day. And then this is a bottle called Forget Me Not. So if you give your loved one um, some fruit, some chocolate covered strawberries, some wine, I think you might be in really good shape. I think so. That sounds fantastic to me at least. <laughs> All right, and quite you've got some unconventional stuff things. Yeah. Oh, crazy stuff. I went down to the Regeneration Station on right. Glendale Avenue, and what they'll do is, if you have a, a favorite t-shirt or his favorite t-shirt, they'll make a custom pillow. Now, for the women, ah. you know, sometimes the men like your scent, your perfume, have a pillow made out of a, a scented t-shirt, or if you're guys just like, you well, know, a rocker. Is this the t-shirt, or is this the print of that's the t-shirt? That's the t-shirt. That's the t-shirt. Yeah. So the t -shirt. Well, what if he's wanting the t-shirt? Well, he well, has it in a pillow form now oh, forever. Right. He's it's, out of luck if he wants to wear that shirt again. It might be tired to a time to retire the t-shirt. Okay, I get the, the point. So, okay. yes. And of course here, my favorite. 
You got to have Elvis. I mean, you right. know, man cave, he's got to be there. And um, all these gifts you can find on my blog. It's uh, giftgalnc.com. These wines, by the way, are from North Carolina Wine Gifts of Asheville, and they will box up uh, wine and send it all over the country. But she goes around, the owner goes around and selects wines from all over North Carolina and picks out her favorites and really promotes um, local North Carolina. I like this too. I that's, like that. I that, do. that's a heavy duty Stein. That is. <laughs> I that mean, is. that's a manly Stein. I like the vintage stuff. We're manly talking about stuff. some cool stuff. This is a 1920s duo Hammer here, right? wrench. And then oh. this is kind of, this is definitely retro. Uh, somebody had a lot of fun with uh, they did. All right. hardware. We'll hang our hat on that. We'll be right, right back. back.